So yeah. um, I, it was, um, I was in the US and um, that, that beautiful day, I was, my, my, my boyfriend at the time, his name was Maurice. We were driving to um, New York. I was I live in Jersey. From Jersey. From Jersey. Okay. So we were driving on Route One to New York, and my my dad was going to to Nigeria. So I was going to go and see him off, and then we never made it because it was a Jeep Wrangler, you know, and it flipped. And then I, I, he lost control. According to his testimony, he said I pulled the steering, but the police said that was most most that, that didn't make any sense because we were just trying to get his junior by his insurance would have to pay pay the claim that we wanted to make it by force, but. What happened was that the car flipped, he lost control. The car flipped, and we then hung on the tree. It was quite painful. He fell off, unfortunately, but he fell off. But I was the one left on the Jeep Wrangler as he crushed on the tree. So, of course, 911 people called that an accident just occurred. Ambulances came, ambulances came and said, uh uh, you can't get her. No ladder can get this person, neither the chopper. So, they called on the helicopter from Rutgers University Social Hospital, and they were the ones that came and got me out of that um, crash. And then I was, in the, I was in the helicopter, they lost me twice and they had to revive me because of all things that reports in the medical report that we got. And then I landed on the hospital, I was in coma. Um, I lost between here, I still have a hole here and a hole here. I lost six inches of my, of my, of my right thigh and my hip, between on my hip all the way, they had to throw in a, um, a 12 inch rod all the way. I have two screws here, I have two screws in my ankle. I had a skull fracture from here all the way to the middle of my head. I had, um, I had a piercing here, I have a piercing here. I have, what else do I have? I have, you know, just scars all over my body, just wow. so, as, as evidence. And I thank God for those scars because, as I said, anytime, you know, I, I, anytime I'm, I'm down and I see those scars, it reminds me that, listen, God saved your life for a reason. The reason why you're alive, because it, there's, there's so much more for you to, to do. So I'm not easily deterred by society, I'm not easily deterred by anybody around me, I focus because that man, that God saved that life for a reason. Um, and after that coma, a few days after I was in coma, um, I came out and then I had to start therapy, you know, I had to speech therapy, walking therapy, I had to, um, I had to rejuggle rejo rejo my memory, yeah, yeah, yeah. the doctor told me that I would never remember anything before, one week before and one week after the accident, that's gone, and there'll be pockets on my past that, you know, I, would, I may lose, but eventually, after many years, it's to come back as I progress. So, and many memories have come back, some I still don't remember, but um, it took a while for the healing, the healing took, I was on wheelchair when I was discharged, and I had to go back to school, like, a few, a few days after. So, I was wheeled, I used to wheel myself to the bus stop, and then wheel myself, and thank God I was, um, president of the student government um, in my school at the time. So because of that, I had enough contacts. So the director got me somebody who picked me up on the bus stop and then he got my schedule of my class and he blew me to my classes. You know, they did that for a while, for a whole term. Eventually, I then moved on to using my boots. After boots, I started using crutches. The final time I started walking. I mean, doctors were not sure I was ever going to walk because I, when you crush me, you move a lot of your bone. I'm not sure you can walk, but it was just hope. So I had a bit of a length on my right leg is about about an inch and a half shorter than my left leg. So but nobody really sees it because I'm kind of used I'm used to walking. So it was a huge period in my life where even this whole place was black. And I remember there was a time where I was crying to go. My face was black. I gained a lot of weight. I had to shave off my head because I couldn't use. I couldn't do my head. My head was. My skull, I had a skull fracture all this my head. It opened up. You have to shave. So I had to shave off the whole head. So for, for like a year in school, I was wearing a turban and wigs. And I was, you know, then wigs was not very popular. I felt really awkward because I was telling you weeds and everything. But I remember that day I, used to, I was crying at the altar. I said, God, if you can just even get rid of this black mark on my face, I will serve. You know, you just say, Father Lord, my face. Because I'm a young girl, I can't have this big thing on my face, you know? And honestly, I cannot say this is the day when his car went. I was just, many years were just passing. And God just totally cleared it away. And I thank God, even now, the sky is there, which is a good reference, but the mark is gone. And I thank God for the healing.